Fox News alert as our coverage continues. Uh, after a shooting in downtown Louisville early this morning, uh, we know so far five people dead, including the shooter. Uh, we're awaiting any further information on how that shooter um, became deceased, whether or not it was exchanged gunfire with the police or whether that shooter took his own life. There's a new statement right now by um, uh, just out by Senator Rand Paul saying Kelly and I are praying for everyone involved in the deadly shooting in downtown Louisville this morning. Our hearts break for the families of those lost. Uh, the Kentucky senator just putting that out a few moments ago. Uh, eight injured, six taken to the hospital. Uh, two of the injured are police officers. One of those police officers is currently in surgery. So we're waiting an update on multiple fronts here, also for the gunman to actually be named and to learn whether or not this gunman was an active or former employee of that bank. Police merely saying they know that there was some sort of connection to the bank uh, with that shooter. Nate Foy is reporting on the very latest. What are we learning now, Nate? Well, Sandra, first and foremost, the shooter is dead, so there's no more of a threat to the public. Uh, the bank also just tweeting out that the, the security and safety of customers at the bank is of paramount importance to them. As you mentioned, four victims here. Uh, our thoughts are with their families as well as the eight people injured, including two police officers, one of whom is in critical condition. Uh, the other one not described as being in critical condition. There are reports that the officer uh, who is in critical condition was shot in the head. So we will keep monitoring uh, any information about how that officer is doing. But you mentioned police in Louisville responding within three minutes after this shooting started. Just absolute heroism on display. Uh, similar, I might add, today is two weeks to the day since the Nashville shooting at the Covenant School, where we saw a similarly heroic response to that. You can expect this to reignite tensions in the gun control debate, with Democrats pointing to guns being the problem, where you can expect more Republicans to focus on the mental health crisis in the country right now, as well as security concerns. But we just heard from uh, Governor Andy Bashir, who mentioned that he actually knows people who were involved in this, including one person who did not make it, one of the four people who were killed. Take a listen to the Kentucky governor. Yes, I know that there are steps that the police department is taking to do things better after a recent report, but we certainly saw, I think, the very best from them today. And I want to thank them and all our other law enforcement officers responding and doing their best to try to save some of my friends and many others. Thank you all. President Biden has been briefed, so we're expecting to hear more from Karine Jean-Pierre at 2 p.m. today. We'll send it back to you, Sandra. We're monitoring the, the, that last question that happened um, in the news conference a short time ago. A reporter said that there uh, was some sort of word of another shooting taking place. I just want to be clear, there's an update from police on the ground uh, through their um, their local Twitter feed um, and their Facebook feed, which they're actively putting out updates on. They are confirming that that shooting that was asked about at 8th and Chest Chestnut was outside JCTC. The suspect fled. There's no active shooter they're reporting right now. Um, so they're staging another media location outside the JCTC. Um, We'll, we'll get an update, I'm sure, from the police shortly. We don't have an exact time of that update, but we'll certainly continue monitoring that. And I know you will as well, Nate. Thank you very much.